Hi YouTube. So today I want to show you how to pin curl your hair underneath the wig. You'll need some bobby pins, a comb, you'll also need a stocking cap, and of course you'll need a wig. I'm using my full lace synthetic wig that I did my last video on. And at the end of this pin curl tutorial, I'm going to show you what the wig ventilation looks like. So stay tuned. Just divide your hair into some sections. I'm going to separate my hair into four sections as you see me doing here. And I'm just bobby pinning the sections out of the way. Two at the top one section in the middle and one section at the bottom. To begin pin curling just select a small piece of hair and you're going to take two fingers and just wrap the hair around your fingers. Slide your fingers out and then lay the curl flat to your head. I use one small bobby pin to secure it. And there's what it looks like. I'm just going to continue with this section, rolling the hair around two fingers, laying it flat to my head, and using a bobby pin to secure it down. I'll show you two more. Split this section in half, again rolling the hair into a curl and securing it down flat onto my head. And you would just do this in each section. You don't have to have uh, really small sections, but just make sure that they're not too big. I would pin curl my entire head like this when I um, don't want to wear my wig for a long time. I just want to put it on for a little while and then maybe wear my hair out again the same day or the next day. And it's just a quick way. You don't have to braid all your hair or try to stuff it all into a under a stocking cap. And just pin curl it and when you take the curls down your hair will still be very moisturized and look nice so as you can see I'm almost completed doing my pin curls I'm just going to continue curling it around my fingers and securing it down with a bobby pin until my entire head is complete If um, your hair is natural, which mine is, but I did blow my hair out. But if you don't, you can still do these pin curls. Do them the exact same way. And this is the completed pin curl. I'm just going to put on my stocking cap and move on to showing you my wig. Okay, so here you see that I have put on my wig. Again, it is a glueless wig with two pins at the front, or combs I should say, at the front, and a comb in the back. And this time I just wanted to show you my ventilation. This is synthetic, and so I did not bleach the knots, of course, but I ventilate with one hair in each hole, and every hair is double knotted, even at the front. And right here, you can see that I have baby hairs. Even the baby hairs are double knotted. But you can't see any little dots because the knots are very small and tight. So the remainder of this video, I just want to show you my ventilation by giving you different parts. And showing you how versatile it can be. You can really part your hair anywhere. 
and pull it back without having to adhere it down. And it still looks natural. And I just have on a new stocking, by the way. some more of those baby hairs. I like my baby hairs to be very small and short, just a little bit. And it's just enough to cover up that hairline a little, but without making it look too fake. And that's how I personally like them. Here's some more sections of my hair. And here I'm just going to do a little two strand twist to show that you can wear this wig in twists or braids and it still looks very natural. Here goes the twist. And again, it's not adhered down in any way. By the way, the lace is a light brown lace, which matches my scalp 100%. I did cut a few layers into the front of this wig because it was all one length. The length is 20 inches. And here I just want to show you that there is no lumps and bumps from the pin curls. It is completely flat, even in the back. And that's it. I hope you enjoy and please visit my blog. Thanks for watching.